Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We're playing Encodia here. This is a game that came out on Steam on January 26th of 2021. Thank you to the developer for the key. I appreciate that. I played a little bit um, and just, just to see how gameplay was. And I really like the artwork. It's relaxing and I like the voice acting a lot. So this is a disclaimer. Pause it here if you want to read it. It's funny that... Um, we have to have disclaimers for games because <laughs> the world seems really hypersensitive politically and, and everything now. I think that's funny. But um, we're going to play on hard. So basically the difference is you get hints. If it's easy, on hard you don't get hints. You do get um, more achievements. I'll just I'll let this play. Neil Berlin, 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will send them <laughs> on an incredible journey. That advertisement was awesome. The journey to have a baby get a free robot okay so that's the feel right it's um to the future not too distant future cyberpunk uh, dystopian world gritty environment um yeah good morning tina today's forecast is a high of seven degrees celsius and cloudy with zero percent chance of rain during the day and 73 percent chance of rain in the evening would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. She's a kid. She doesn't care about news. You know what's cool about that opening cutscene? Um, something that just kind of stood out to me, but it's just because of where I am and where I'm from. Is um, I, I like hearing. To -do list. Would you like I like hearing people yeah, from all over the world speak uh, my primary language, which is English, just to. Sorry, that's my only language. I just want to be clear, but. Just to hear how other people pronounce the words that, you know, I've been used to saying a certain way for so long. It's just cool. I like hearing different accents. But, um, so it's a point-and-click adventure game. And so you kind of, well, not kind of, you, uh, you do this. You go around. You find the things in the environment with which you can interact. You pick them up. You can bind them to make tools. Um, there are a lot of different things. We're going to go over here and get this jar. I have done this opening part. Um, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got stuck. Um, I was just trying to like learn what the game was expecting of me as the player. And so you can uh, you can click once to just walk. You can double click to run. You can switch back and forth between the characters. And you notice there's a huge height difference there. I'm guessing that'll come um, in effect later on for different puzzles. We'll go over here to the rooftop. And there are different things we can pick up, uh, interact with. You can see, like, here's the height difference. Right here, here's a power box. He's tall enough to touch it. She is not. Um, a water tank. You can see in, in the background this ad right here for skin job. Stuff like that. That's the, I guess, cyberpunk atmosphere. Come look in the trash over here. A bunch of junk. If you played a Machinarium or Nice. There's some rotten sushi and a broken floppy in here. Botanicula or what Sama Roast? I think this is uh this fits in there. It's just a different different artwork. I think it's a lot uh, more polished artwork. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. It's 
Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes? Who are you? No, no, this one. Am I safe talking with someone so sketchy who lurks in the shadows? If you have to ask. Who lurks in the shadows? Uh, do I look sketchy? <laughs> Actually, a very sweet guy. When I'm not teaching or hiding in the shadows, I spent my time cuddling Polino. Who's Polino? The cute Robert pet I made. I painted him like Gene Simmons. Like who? Oh, never mind. All right, all right. I think I can trust you. <laughs> sure thing. Anything else? <laughs> Do you have any candy? Oh, man, that... Who are you? And what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night... I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin, but since the salary is very low during the day, I, well, I'm a dealer, an unauthorized cyber dealer. Well, and I'll just spoil it right now. He doesn't have very much for us to say at the moment, so we're Sounds gonna cool, but I should go, now. go ahead All and right. move care. on. And so, um, we can go over here. Here's the map. And so you can go to these different areas. I'm guessing that, well, it's a big map, right, compared to how many areas are open right now. And I'm guessing that more areas will become available to travel to later on. I love the artwork right here. Look how claustrophobic this looks. This kind of, like, this really sets the stage, or it really fits in, I think, with the dystopian theme. Um, I personally would hate living here. Just, you know, so many people. And so you can double click um, to exit a scene and go to a different one, which is nice. Because after a while, I'm sure watching them walk across the screen won't be as uh, enjoyable as it is now. And I, I love this the floating advertisements. <laughs> like, <laughs> billboards aren't enough, plastering it on the side of buildings isn't enough. We're going to create machines that hover, that have revolving advertisements so we can just bombard you constantly with things that you don't need uh, so we're gonna go like this and combine sushi in the jar and then so go right here and we're going to just a deep hole in the wall looks like something is in there something is in there but yeah on the map we need we need um, our ticket we lost the bus ticket we need our ticket to get to one of these spots, and then she said that it was underneath her pillow, um, and then it was gone, or it was underneath her pillow when she went to sleep, and then it was gone when she woke up in the morning. And so we'll go like this. I'll go through the whole... Yeah, something bit me. The whole thing here. And so we're going to use the sushi in the jar. Let me try this. Cut it. And so now let's get it. So you can come up here in the top right, you know, settings. That's the become the universal, universally accepted um, icon for settings, right? But this, um, these are our, our current missions. These are our quest objectives. And so now we have our bus ticket. We're going to go to a different part of the city and see what else there is. And let's go to the historical quarter. So I, I haven't been here. So this is kind of what it is. You, um, it's point and click, right? Well, let's talk to the cyber junkie. Oh, we can't talk to him. Probably for good reason. Run over there. There we go. A cyberspace junkie. Fully immersed. I tried cyberspace once, and it's just like Neo Berlin. Dark and stinky. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh, we can't talk to him. Come here, guy. Let's see here. I guess we'll talk to the elect. Ooh, can we just steal stuff? It's too far. Okay, now it's time for our robot friend. I cannot steal from public. Oh, office. come on. Okay, let's get him off the ladder, maybe. Hello? Yes. Oh, nope. What are you doing over there? 
I thought that city maintenance was a task for robot workers. Yeah, that sounds better. I thought that city maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted. <laughs> so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Hold, please. Okay, I just had to adjust some sound levels there, but um, yeah, I guess we're gonna continue Hello? talking to him. Yes. And what are you doing? What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg. <laughs> I never oh yeah, there it is in the background. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Blixy, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this streetlight so they can show Mr. Grump propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really. I can't complain. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Oh, let's go over here. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, a fuse box. It seems broken. Something must be missing. A fuse? Let's go into the abandoned store. This automatic door is broken. Oh, shoot. It won't open. Okay, how about if we use the robot with super strength? The automatic door is not opening. It's probably broken. Yeah, no, that's why I wanted you, because you could <laughs> muscle it open, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll go into the diner. Part of our mission here, or part right here. We're supposed to be finding food, find edible food. We found some rotten sushi, but... You know, it's, it's rotten. Ooh, can we just, uh... Yoink? Uh-huh. That'll come in handy, right? Leftovers? Yup. Oh, nothing can't left take there. it? Okay, nothing left. Maybe the next one. Can we steal a computer? Nothing left there. Okay. Tonight? Maisie's stunning performance. Okay. It's some sort of stage. I wonder how it works. I don't think we should be in here right now. As it was worth a shot to find the leftovers, or look for leftovers. But um, ooh, can we take the menu? I don't know if that's gonna help. Please select your meal. Oh. Press confirm to pay with meal Berlin credits. I don't have any credits. Yeah, we are, we're an orphan. We're poor. We have nothing. Let's go outside. Maybe we can go to the other edge of the screen? There's, there's a, nope, let's see. Nope, it's not moving. Ooh, yeah, Diner Alley. Leftovers, here we come. Oh. Brutal, okay, so. Okay, yes, yeah, she... I can't walk into this puddle. I'll get electrocuted. Oh, there's the leftovers. I want them. Get away, cat. Oh, no, it's robotic. I'm not worried about the robotic cat eating leftovers. Okay. So we need the electrician maybe to come back? I don't know. Trying to search the street for anything, but I mean, there's just trash everywhere and people are walking by. I'm assuming in a world like this. Let's talk. It's too tall. Right? It's too far. Yeah, let's talk to him again and see if we have any new dialogue options. Hello? Yes. Do you know how to fix an Do electrical you know panel? Oh, no, I don't need panel? to read it. Well, definitely. It's my job, but I'm busy now. Fine. Can you tell me how to do it? Oh, you're too young for that. Anyway, it depends on the issue. Very often, all you need to do is change a fuse. Do you have a spare one for me? Not really. So maybe you can tell me where I can find one? Oh, many shops sell them. But I don't have any money. Then I don't know how to help you. What if I get a fuse from another box? Sure, but the boxes around the city are locked. And you have the keys? Of course. It's my job. I've been right here, hung on my bed. This conversation's getting boring. 
I guess he won't lend me the keys. <laughs> of course not. I don't want to risk jail. Whatever. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Oh, I want him. I want him. Give me the keys. It's too far. Okay. Wait, can we just hop up the ladder? No, we can't. He would feel it. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, wow. There's all kinds of stuff here for to interact with, I think. Not just in this scene, but in the town. Yeah, I guess we can talk to the kid. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Me, a kid? How old are you? Oh. What are you doing here all alone? What are you doing here all alone? Where are your parents? Where's your robot? Oh, you have so many questions, kid. But you're lucky I'm not very busy. So, first of all, I'm just resting. I had a pretty tough night of scavenging. I don't have a father. My mother gave birth to me through artificial insemination. But she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year, when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own, and I quite like it this way. Wow, it's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar, but luckily, I still have my Sam. We should team up. Nah, I feel good alone. Now let me be, kid. I don't want the police to notice us. Okay. Maybe you'll have more interesting things to talk about later on. This is a long street. Okay, that's it. Nope, bus stop. Um, I kind of want to find somewhere more interesting where... Okay, let's just go this way. See what there is. I want to find something more interesting where we can pick some stuff up. I can't out of use order. It. It's out of order. Okay. Nasty robot. Oh, yeah, let's talk to the nasty robot. Hello there. Oh. What'd you say to me? I guess this robot doesn't talk the human language. Where's, um, where's our robot? Oh, there you are. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> if I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. Brutal. I don't think they have an opinion, right? Either one way or the other. Like, it's just, that's his programming. is just to protect um, our little orphan. And, uh, that's it. That's just, that's, that's what it is. Anyway. Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. I'm I love his voice. For the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. I like the guy walking around with a helmet on. It's cool. Um, better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm a successful street sweeper. It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Ooh, um, wicked burn. I, I knew it. Okay, I guess Order. we're done with this guy. I, don't have time to waste. I love the the world, even. You know, okay, so it's a point-and-click adventure. It, it's simple, right? The, the interface is simple. You just you literally move the mouse around to see what you can interact with, pick it up, try to solve puzzles and all that. But um, but they the the developers really given it depth because the world feels alive to me. You have cars going by. You have um, non-repeating <laughs> uh, foot traffic, and yeah, it's cool. A rusty can. Tina may like it. Cybercola. It's like regular cola, but with cyber sugar. Ticket machine. You give it credits, I mean, it gives you fly bus tickets. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there. Let's go to the rotating ad. 
one side advertises a new kind of trendy hat, the other side, a synthetic Ooh, fish. Look at that hat. Okay, um, yeah, go in there. Seems like no one is really using it. Oh, can we use it? Mm, nothing interesting there anymore. Anymore? Was there something interesting that we were just too late for and we missed it? Yeah, this is the the world was created very well. So ramen shop. I mean, just like look at um, how great it is. The artwork um, has the atmospheric effect where things that are further away look lighter in color. And yeah, it's just trash everywhere. This dude over here, the cyber junkie. If you have, if you like cyberpunk stuff and like dystopian worlds, um, and and you like reading. You should check out a book called Snow Crash. Um, that's actually a book I recommend to people who don't like reading because it's so enjoyable to read. Snow Crash. Um, I'm just kind of hovering the mouse over things looking for stuff. Oh, a stick. Ooh, that's a nice stick. Can we go down there? No. Cyber Junkie will come check this dude out. I wonder if there's food in the vending machine. Cyberspace junkie. They trip in a miserable world similar to Neo Berlin, just with more flashing lights. I wonder if this guy's uh, prepping for the next COVID outbreak. Let's go over here and look at the vending machine. Oh no, you, you need to run, sweetie. Okay. It's selling some kind of weird device called Vintage Me. Uh. I'm too weak. Oh. Okay, I, I think I have just a person. So far, my instincts it about... might work. Hey, something fell down. Oh, what is it? Let's check it out. What? Is it just a joy... What is it? It looks like a joystick, right? But it's super beefy. <laughs> um, well, maybe we can go... Just, I'm scanning the environment with the mouse. That's it. Ooh. What does it say? I can't read Japanese. Ooh, can the robot read Japanese? It says, ramen shop, quick delivery. Okay, I didn't know what else I was expecting. <laughs> it's just the first thing that popped up that I could interact with. Well, not the first thing. Look, so if we go in here, you're right, then what's going to happen? I'm kind of like getting a feeling. I guess we can talk to people and maybe it'll, um, maybe we can do work for him. And he'll give us some food, me. like some rice. Oh, look at that. He's just. Did you see his hand? It's, um, like, uh, he's got a knife for a hand. How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. Let's do this one. Do you have any free food or leftovers Give away our intentions me? immediately. Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. Like but this kitty cat. I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such a aroma. Rich. Pungent. Oh. Yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It makes me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Working over that ego. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. Oh. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. I'm all about Good it. Luck, little god. Okay, now let's see. Did we get some edible? Um. Oh, okay. I was wondering about the inventory. Like, is this all the spots we get? What happens when I fill them up? Because you can't drop things. So, okay. Um, use it on myself? Nope. Okay, so we'll just get rid of this stuff. Maybe it'll come in handy later. Ooh, chopsticks. A lot of time was spent on this artwork in this game, and um, 
I can tell and I appreciate it. Well, I guess we'll uh, cruise over here to the electronic shop. Maybe we can talk to them and get a fuse or something. I'm just like, every time I go into a new area, I just like, my eyes like flitter all across the screen, just looking at all the things. And that that's kind of why I paused there for a second. Ooh. Oh, yeah, maybe we can get the vintage thing and get some credits. Retro computers. Before cyberspace? People used to play in code with those. I'm surprised. Well, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. I'm not sure if it's um, kind of like marks the age of the, the developer, but like I'm surprised that there aren't flat screens. These are all CRTs. And so maybe, um, you know, like the developer, to them, that's retro, and so that's what, that's what they have here. Whereas, you know, 2062, who knows what kind of monitor technology we'll have. And then so like what will be retro then? Anyway... What does this say? 64K microcomputer, 1984. <laughs> Let's talk to the clerk. Hello. Hi there. Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU overclocking or dynamic mobo modding? Uh... <laughs> Looking for a Tesla PSU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh... Nitrogen coolers? Thunder Ethernet? Thunder Your Ethernet. Sega boosters? I guess it's better that Sam handles this dude. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Okay. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053. Cat C patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates. I don't know why, but it sounds familiar as talking like this good for... <laughs> for a can of robot oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some in a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots. Not your kind. Shucks. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something okay. else? A new control there bus or ROM implants? I want to see if he'll buy the, the, the vintage meat. Okay, so we'll choose Dick this one. Bates. Just further the dialogue. Why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darude Sandstorm, I bet. <laughs> oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? You know, I don't get the reference. Uh, well, kind of. I, I get half the reference. Darude Sandstorm, I know that. But Dick Bates, I do not know. So I'm uh, half the reference is lost on me. If you know who Dick Bates is and you've watched the video this far through, leave a comment, please. Let me know. I'm sure I could just go look it up, but I prefer to interact with people. Is talking like this? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes. My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. <laughs> By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> what can I do for you, then? An update well, on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Really? This... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Can we just grab him? Huh. Fine. You could get one for free. Oh. Nice. Old computer. Looks like a heavy keyboard. It has Amiga 500 written on it. So if you if you look into the future, man, I think he's got the little joystick right there. I want to talk to him about the the vintage me, but um, this is not going to happen. So we got a f a five and a quarter floppy disk. But yeah, going like looking this far ahead into the future, twenty I think it's twenty sixty two, right? Um, like that stuff, like a five and a quarter floppy disk would be like in a museum. That'd be a collector's item, you know, like that kind of thing. I don't think that they'd be giving out for free, but I do appreciate um, that it's a game and it's not <laughs> like the most realistic thing. And it's all speculative anyway. Look at this guy just freaking out over there in his virtual world. And um, one thing I notice about this, a lot of, oh, a capacitor. A lot of times in games, 
like this point click adventures it's always from the side you get the, the same perspective and so um, that's a big thing I noticed about this one is that it's different in that the perspective it changes so sometimes it's from the side sometimes you get this kind of angle sometimes other angles and I like that variety a lot in a game like this again um, you know I think it's hard to like really what is what's going on back there Ooh. It's hard to add a lot of dimension to a game like this because the format is so simple. It's point and click, right? But um, yeah, I, I really appreciate what the developer did here in um, how much dimension was added, the artwork We're especially. Only street sweeper robots can I know, it. bust it open, dude. You can't do it though, because he's a, he's a, his programming. He can't commit crimes. Let's get Nasty Robot back here. I'm just looking for things to interact with. Um, can we just, like, go all the way back there? Y uh, yeah. We can. But, but why? I guess we're gonna exit here. Um, in case you're interested, there I've gotten one Steam achievement so far for... Uh, finding a bus ticket. Electronic shop. But I, yeah, I think um, I think it's kind of self-evident. This is this is a single-player game, um, and I don't think it's very interesting to make videos of. I like it a lot. This is something that I would play in my free time. Um, but yeah, there's there's just not a lot going on um, in order to to make video content for. So I'm gonna call this one here. This game's called Encodia. Came out January 26th of 2021 on Steam. Um, it's on sale right now for 20 bucks. It's normally $25, um, which honestly I think is a fair price point. It seems expensive for a point-and-click adventure, but when, when you consider all the detail and everything put into this game, um, that's, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. But yeah, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.